Women's UK National Road Race Champs was this weekend, and it was a cracker. So, again, I can't download all the footage because 9 gigs long. However, this is the final run-in. This is the select group. Basically, everyone's world tour except Natalie Grincher. Um, so, yeah, pretty impressive ride from her. Or maybe not world tour, but definitely pro because I don't think Israel a world tour at the moment. Anyway, what you can see is, again, the similar run-in to the men's. Basically, the same point because this is really where the attack started going. So, you can see here on the on the right for Uno X is Ella Barker. Um, she's like basically near the back and she decides that it basically it's time to go now and time to cause some carnage. Five v Georgia, big favor of this, very good at classic riding. One in 2020 up Lincoln, which is a similar-ish climb in terms of duration um, to Saltburn, which is the final climb of this race. Everyone else you can see is chasing behind Anna Henderson, wearer of the red jersey uh, in the World of Spania last year, so or this year maybe. Um, so she, yes, yeah, she's very strong. Anna Shackley there, Alex Morris. Um, is letting the gap go, can't close it. She had a crash. Claire Steeles is there for Israel, as well as Fifey Georgia for DSM Funutech. Uh, anyway, Anna Henderson hops across this gap, no stress. And to be honest, Ellen Barker looks like she's really parked up here. Fifey Georgia keeps going. I thought Claire Steeles would attack. She's kind of better at the longer climbs. The camera motorbike goes kind of mental. Then we focus on Alex Morris, who to be fair is like fourth cat to world tour in a year. She's kind of wild. Um, but yeah, she is getting dropped because she had a crash before to chase back on which is like fair um but anyway then they go to show the front you'll see that everyone's just parked and i don't know why claire Steeles didn't go in my opinion because i think she's better on a longer climb like this i know it's a long way to go you know maybe you don't want to risk everything for the win but i do think it's kind of like you should at least test a 5v georgia because i think at the end of the day 5v georgia on a climb like that is probably one of the favorites and you know again anna shackley kind of similar like i know they're not going to be great on this false flat downhill running but, you know, you've got to try it because otherwise it's real tough. Um, and I think, to be honest, Natalie Grinch is probably just happy to be there. Um, so probably wouldn't launch too many attacks, which is kind of fair enough. Um, best result at Nationals probably fair for quite a while. The rest of them, you know, they they kind of ride up this climb just looking at each other. Um, it's it's interesting. I, d I don't quite, you know, here's the, here's the replay. You could see big attack i mean this made sense i think go from the bottom and hope that people stall but five georgia to be fair did close that quite easily um and they're kind of just looking at each other Anna henderson rolling off the back i thought very good on downhill used to be a downhill skier actually um classic uh, <laughs> classic thing but yeah so i think i thought she might launch it but then the descent as i said before it's not too technical so it's kind of difficult to really see on this run and how you're actually going to get a gap um, because it's it's just not technical and it's not very um, not very steep either. So all in all, quite easy to sit in the wheels, especially um, if you're sort of fourth or fifth wheel. Again, it, it so this corner here in the wet is quite technical and the dry, no stress at all. Um, and you can see Anna Shackley decides to attack, and I think it just kind of boggles me. Like, why would you not attack on the climb? Maybe she couldn't, but attacking here like is just tactically doesn't make much sense. It was downhill into an uphill, but it's just not the place where you're going to get a big gap, unfortunately, especially from second wheel. You come from the back into the uphill, gain more momentum, maybe. Fiverr Georgie, no stress closing that. Absolutely zero stress. Anna Henderson on the back, you think here, maybe she goes. She looks at it, she goes, and then you can see Fiverr Georgie just gives her the eyes, does a couple of pedal strokes and says, nah, 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 mate, I've got you. And she literally gives up there and then. Pretty amazing. Fiverr Georgie, maybe everyone just got psyched out. She just saw that and was like, fair. Like, what's the point of even trying? She's just got it. Um, and I think, again, it does go to show the kind of, um, like how much you can cause carnage, uh, by just looking at people and just kind of giving them the eyes and showing like, I am the most dominant here. Uh, again, Anna Henderson absolutely whacking this downhill, big risk in the corner, catches the TV motorbike. Again, it's like, if this was a real technical run in for more than one turn for sure, but Fivey Georgia lost some on some, uh, like bike lengths on that, on that corner, but not enough that she can't just close it. Um, Natty Gringer is struggling at the back for sure, not top descender compared to the rest of these lot um, and has to do actually quite a big effort. Anna Shackley goes again, um, but marked very easily, like barely made it off the front, um, to be honest. So again, the move, yeah, it puts some people at the back in difficulty. But when you're sitting like fourth, fifth wheel um, and you're going 50, 60 K an hour, which they probably are at the moment, it's just so easy. So again, it's it's hard to see. I think the only way, if I was like Anna Henderson or someone like that, I would have just waited and then absolutely launched the descent into it because the descent goes into the climb. And if you could get like three, four seconds, maybe, or cause a crash or something, that's kind of your only real option. I think otherwise, you know, if you just wait as they did, 
um, for 5e Georgia to kind of launch, it's not going to be good for most of them. Again, I think Claire Steele's is like, maybe she just thought she could beat 5 for Georgia on the final climb, which again is like one of those things where you don't really know, know at the end of a hard race. It was quite a long, long race as well, 130k, I think it was like close to four, four and a bit hours and raced pretty aggressively, nutritional race. Then, you know, you never know, maybe it, that probably does suit someone who's a bit better at climbing compared to a punchy rider just because of their length of time. Then like the amount, like every climb is going to take more out of it um, if you're kind of a punchy rider compared to a pure climber. Um, but again, you know, we see some more attacks and we're basically getting to the finish. And now, again, the 4G is absolutely useless down here, which is what they use to stream it. But we'll kind of be able to see a little bit of what's happening anyway from the camera footage. And this is actually where the big, big brain move from Pfeiffer Georgie is. She gets to the front now and absolutely nukes this descent. We can kind of see from here um, that she's on the front destroying the descent. And this is just big brain move because you come into that climb first wheel you managed to put like five, 10 seconds into these, no, maybe five seconds into these people just from the cornering. Like, you know, that's game over. You've just taken out two, three people, 100%. Like now, those last two people, Natty Gunsha um, and Anna Barker, no chance, like literally impossible. Um, the gap she's put into everyone on the descent is just absolutely wild and goes to show if you can't descend, it really does have a big impact um, on, on bike racing. And then she flies into this corner and just starts going absolutely ballistic um, they show the back of the bunch, which is kind of a shame because I actually just wanted to see her go thermonuclear. And you can see here out the saddle, absolutely flying um, and already putting big gaps into people. I think it's around this corner, which you really get to see again, showing the back. Come on, let's see the front. Um, you really get to see like what around this corner. Sorry, the gap she put into everyone. Everyone's out the saddle. And as I said with the Fred Wright video, it really is as soon as the people behind you get in the saddle, that's when you know it's just game over. So the others two are still trying. Mentally, they're still like, oh, I can maybe do this. But Five Georgie gets down, cracks out two gears, gets out of the saddle again, and just absolutely launches it. Um, well, these lot are all just flailing. Um, and now she's just basically in the saddle, just whacking it to the line. And at this point, it's just impossible to get back because it's flat. So, you know, unless they have a, a real blow, um, if they unless they really blow up, you know, no chance. But... Pretty decent ride, uh, well, very good ride, sorry, from Five for Georgie, second national champs title in the bag. No stress, really. Um, launched the descent, no panic on any on the rest of the race. Um, and yeah, tactically very good um, and legs to match. So, anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one. Team DSM who takes the national title and with it the coveted stripes. Steals there in second place and Anna Henderson will finish in the bronze medal position with Olympic champion Eleanor Barker there in fourth for Team Uno X.